Novella Trek Discover 1 today. It's 31 degrees outside. This is probably going to be the warmest day of the week. It's supposed to drop down to uh, below zero, <laughs> which is going to be interesting. Now, I'm going to ride over to my dedicated spot where I do all my filming. And sh just kind of give you an overview of the bike. Now, I can't hear a whole lot, so hopefully nothing happens with the the bike hopefully it doesn't malfunction <laughs> but I got the speed unlocked it should be able to hit 28 miles an hour though today I don't know if I'm gonna be doing that it's a little a little cold and I am geared up I have a neck gaiter I got a head cover thing I got gloves I got bar mitts I got windproof pants windproof jacket so I'm pretty warm other than my face but I do have something to cover my face up too which I'll probably do on my way back because this is pretty cold at 20 miles an hour So we will do another video probably next month or the month after <laughs> where we go over the uh, different PAS levels, the speed, the overall performance of the bike. However, right now it's too freaking cold to test any of that. So we're just going to go over the bike today. I really like the street tires. I really like how they ride. Um, they're nice and smooth. They don't make a lot of noise, at least from what I can tell here. Overall though, it just seems like a really well put, put together bike for the price. It is extremely inexpensive right now for this style of bike. So they do still have some holiday promotions going on. I'm a little late getting my video out just because life. But uh, here we are. Yesterday you guys watched the full assembly video. Today we're just going to do a full overview video. I'm going to let you know everything that is on the bike. What we got set up. What it looks like without these bar mitts on it. I'm going to take those off. But we're going to go over here in my little sunny spot. Try not to run over any glass. And we're gonna film this bad boy. This is the Velo Trick Discover 1. It is a 26 inch semi fat tire e bike. It's got 2.5 inch wide tires. Really nice for the street. I would classify this as a commuter e bike. It does not have a rear rack on the back, but you can purchase those, I believe, through Velo Trick's website um, if you wanna add on a rear rack. And I believe they have, yeah, they have mounting points up here for a front rack. So you can add those on in the future or when you buy your bike. I believe they have them on their website. Uh, this bike is pretty neat looking. It's a lot different than any other bike I've ever seen as far as the styling goes. The frame design is pretty similar, but they have some unique features that other bikes don't. So I believe this is only made, you can only get this type of frame through Velotric uh, with the cool pattern down here that's got the black stripes and then back here it's got the V for Velo Trick on the back with the black stripes and it's just really well put together it's got the integrated battery right here that unlocked from the other side the wiring is all integrated into the frame which you don't see on bikes in this price range usually usually all the wiring is down and ran underneath the bike so that's nice uh, you get an insane value for this bike uh, for something that's pretty decent that's got hydraulic brakes and fenders. The only thing it doesn't have is the rack. So you have a rear rack and a front rack that you can purchase separately on their website if you're interested in that. I would think most people would like to have a rear rack and maybe a front rack depending on what you're using your bike for. 
but it's really smooth. It's got the standard Tourney derailleur, which is a low-end derailleur, but it works decent. Um, it's got the single-walled chain guard up here. No, no uh, double-walled sprocket up there. So, unfortunately, you could get your pants caught up in the chain, but that's that doesn't really usually happen. Uh, like I said, it does have hydraulic brakes. They are no-name brakes, but they have 180 millimeter rotors and hydraulic levers up here. And they work really well. Hydraulic brakes in general always work really well. Now, I don't know how long they're going to hold up, but it's definitely something that um, a lot of bikes in this price range do not have. They usually just give you mechanical brakes. So it's nice to see that they they focused on the important things on this bike. It does have front suspension with a preload and a lockout. So here's your lockout over here. And you can adjust the amount of uh, springiness you have on your forks, your front forks. No rear suspension, of course, but the seat is super comfortable for a stock seat. Really plush, not super soft, but not hard at all. So it's incredibly comfortable compared to other stock seats that I've tried. So you may not even have to replace that, which is going to save you a little bit of money. You got your integrated battery here. I believe it's a 14 amp hour. I don't know what kind of cells are in the battery, so uh, that information may be on their website. They do provide a 3 amp charger, so you're going to charge this 14 amp hour battery super quick. The frame design is really cool. It's got minimal branding, so it's got a Velotrek logo up here on the head tube. Velo trick right here and then down on the other side over here it says discover one so really minimal branding uh, i always appreciate that up on the dashboard we have the control panel button so menu selector you can go pas levels one through five or zero through five actually pedal says zero kills the throttle which is nice so you can always turn your throttle off so you don't accidentally engage it um, i like that but anything else will engage the throttle which is a thumb throttle over here on the right hand side again you got your hydraulic brake levers they label everything so you know what they are so this is your front brake this is your rear brake like a standard bike is uh, you got your nice lcd display it's not colored it's just black and white but it does give you a lot of information like your odometer your trip uh, the elapsed time it even tells you how many calories you burned it does have a battery indicator right here and then your miles per hour or kilometers per hour depending on what you set the bike up as here's your standard shimano sis index shifter it's a seven speed you have a tourney derailleur on the back we'll look at that in just a second but here's your thumb throttle and then you have these standard locking grips that are i like the design of them um, they don't move so that's that's a plus and uh they're not they're not too uncomfortable by any means they're actually pretty nice uh, but i've never seen that style before they're pretty cool and it's got all these cool designs like all these stripes and stuff and then the v in the back and then up here you have some striping that kind of just matches everything here's your tourney derailleur it is standard uh, this is the low end shimano gear shifter uh, but i've never had any issues with them as long as they're adjusted correctly which this one is out of the factory so that that's really nice it does have integrated front and rear headlight so the rear tail light functions as a brake light and then here's your Here's your headlight that comes standard. So for the price, they did have this marked down to I think $11.99 at one point. Right now it's $12.49. I am gonna work on getting a coupon code. So once I obtain that, I will put it in the description. So look down there for a link and a coupon code to purchase this bike if you're interested. I think for the price, you can't go wrong. It has a lot of really nice components. Uh, it looks really nice super comfortable ride uh, if it was me i'd probably adjust the handlebars up a little bit just because i'm a taller rider you can change out the stem to an adjustable stem if you need to or get a handlebar with a rise on it that might be something that i do in the future depending on if i keep this bike or not but they did come pretty much pre-assembled except for you had to put the kickstand on 
uh, of course the pedals the front wheel and you had to fix the forks like i i mentioned the forks for some reason they were really loose down here so we had to come up here to this bolt and tighten it um, i took everything off just to inspect it but you don't have to you want to get this in place kind of hold it with your left hand and then tighten with your right uh, it might be good to have somebody to help you with this if you're not used to putting together bikes or you can push your bike up against the wall just so it holds in place and then tighten this down you may have to loosen these bolts one on each side up here but you want to make sure that you have this these two bolts loose and then tighten this down so it brings the forks together and clinches it to the to the head tube and then once you do that you tighten these and straighten it up and that's pretty much it. It does have integrated points for a rear rack and a front rack, like I mentioned. So if you need to add one of those, you do have that capability. I believe they do have them on their website. But a uh, pretty well put together bike. We're gonna go ride around for a little bit longer, but not very much because it is freezing out. It's again, 31 degrees Fahrenheit today. And I'm not really excited about being out here, to be honest, but it's gonna get down to below zero here in Missouri this coming week we're supposed to be getting snow and possibly a blizzard from what some of the weather people are saying let me know if you have any questions i will be making another video about this bike in the future testing a little bit more of it since we didn't get a whole lot of time on it today again the previous video is the full unboxing and assembly of the bike so if you need help installing anything or need some guidance or just want to watch it before you put your discover one together uh, i did a full assembly explained everything on how to put the bike together so let me know what you guys think about this bike if you have any questions leave them down in the comments if you like this video please hit that like button it really does help out the video's performance and if you are interested in e-bikes or anything related to e-bikes our electric vehicles in general I'm going to be putting out a lot of content here in the near future as i always do so please subscribe hit that bell so you can be notified and i'll see you guys in the next video let's head on and do some more riding Yeah, the seat's decently comfortable for a stock seat. I did say that you probably wouldn't have to swap it out, but maybe I was wrong. Usually stock seats, you gotta swap out anyways. I would recommend going with a Cloud9 or a bi biker roo seat or the YLG. Those are the ones that are highly recommended by me and many others. But if you're interested in checking out the Velo trick, I will leave a link in the description. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave them down in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in this one or anything related to this, you want to see more e-bike brands, go hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.